Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you another look. I'm just busting these out and I'm so excited. Today's look is going to be a winter queen, very frosted. I used some ornaments that I had laying around and I just thought, you know what? I wanna utilize these, create something really fun and on the prettier side. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to require a little bit of time and patience like I learned, but ultimately the way it came out, I just loved and it's really sparkly and fun. So buckle in and let's get started. First step is grabbing your spirit gum. We're going to be applying this to about seven spots on the top of the forehead for the crown. This is where the molding wax is going to basically grip those little icicles that you'll see. So you're going to grab your molding wax and any leftover ornaments. I found these icicles that I just fell in love with. They're so glowy and fun. And you're going to start to apply them on top of that spirit gum. Taking your time, you're gonna apply the icicle within that wax, kind of smushing it against the forehead. I wanted to find a way to get these on there and I felt like this was the best logical way of doing that as far as my experience is concerned. I suppose you could have created a prosthetic too, but anyway, we're doing things basic, cause I'm basic. So you're gonna take your time, you're gonna shove it in there. I layered a little bit more wax on the top and I could just continue to do this process all around the exterior side of my forehead. And um, yeah, you really wanna get it in there, smushing it, making sure the, the edges are as sealed as possible. I did find that there's a lot of heat on the forehead, so I did have some tricky moments where if I look back, I might have added some liquid latex just for some extra protection on preventing these from falling. just me being excited because it's actually working. Do not get caught up in the fact that this looks messy. We are going to be concealing all of this base here with some ornaments. So at the end of the day, do the best you can. It's okay if it looks a little messy. Um, there won't be any up close photos of this. It will all be concealed. The next step is taking a water activated paint in a blue. I did it kind of a medium to, to darker blue for this because we are going to create a contour effect with the skin. I am painting over the wax. I did the icicles prior to painting because I really wanted that wax to adhere to the skin and I am so oily that I really needed that extra help. So basically you're just gonna go around them. Again, this is gonna be all concealed by the ornaments. So don't be too crazy picky, but get as much solidity as you can out of that paint so it really creates dimension. Next step is taking a water activated paint in a light blue and starting in the center of the face, kind of bringing it out. You're gonna treat this like you would maybe a lighter foundation when you're contouring. Sometimes you just gotta trust the process. Picking up that clown white, uh, I use Merons, and I love to just kind of create a highlight with this. So again, we're gonna bring even more dimension in, taking a beauty sponge, just going over the points where you wanna really bring up 
the uh, dimension, usually it's where you would place a lighter concealer. So you're gonna go under the eyes, you're gonna go on the bridge of the nose, you're gonna go on the center of the forehead, chin, and then I even like to use it like I would a uh, setting powder and just really highlight under the cheekbones. Taking your time, you don't wanna break up the paint, um, but you definitely wanna blend, so you wanna take your time and just kinda work that into the paint. I also did apply this on my eyelids because I needed a primer for my eyeshadow. I'm now setting it with a translucent powder. You can do this with any translucent. I love Anastasia, I'm not gonna lie, but you can do this with anything that's translucent. You just really don't wanna add more color to it or any skin tone to it. You just wanna keep it kind of white. Even if you had a white setting powder, that would work really well as well. Using Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick and Jawbreaker, we started to create a base for the eyebrows. I end up going in later on with a little bit of pigment from their, I believe it's the Jawbreaker palette, but until then, we wanted to just create a base. I needed to know where my eyebrows are prior to putting on my eyeshadow. Next, we're gonna be taking Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker palette and starting the eyeshadow look, starting with the lighter blue and then layering on the medium blue. Anastasia's eye primer to start my cut crease is the best way to like go with this, so I do not crease. Next, taking Anastasia's Frost Pigment, we're going to just pack that on the lid. I wanted something really vibrant, and I will be using this throughout my look. Next, we're taking ColourPop's So Jaded palette. We're gonna start carving out more of that crease, and I'm also gonna bring that color underneath the eye at the lower lash line. Also pulling that down just to make like a little bit of a messy effect under the eye. I felt like it was kind of melting. And then I used that same color from ColourPop and I started carving out my contour, cheekbones, under the chin, just kind of giving you that like really chiseled effect. Using that frost pigment, I'm going to use that to highlight, creating more dimension on the face. Now time for the ornaments. I'm gonna take these, cut them in half. These are really cheap ones I found at like the 99 cent store and you're gonna start placing them on. I did it in a layered effect. So starting with the 
base, like the back. I started taking a little spirit gum. You could use liquid latex for this as well. Um, yeah, and just kind of set it on there. Eventually it dried really well and they were really in place. I loved it. Um, again, you're gonna layer these. So I did the bigger ornaments towards the back and then I layered um, some lighter, I believe it's just one lighter one in the center of the forehead to kind of conceal it all. So yeah, it came out really cool. Taking Anastasia's glitter adhesive, I'm gonna start layering some glitter under my eyes. That's also another one of her glitters. Love those, they're really great. And they're gonna just basically start tearing under the eye. It's so pretty in person. I feel like my lighting just did not give this justice at all. Next step, taking some of those gems and adhering them. I only did like three or four of them. Um, I think by this time, I'm just, I overdo it sometimes. So I just wanted to keep it kind of simple and it worked. Duo in the center, I waited till that was almost dried. Taking a little bit of a darker shadow, uh, same one I used to contour, I'm gonna just kinda create more dimension under the eye, especially after applying some glitter. And then I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I wanted a little bit more smokiness, so I took NYX's black eye pencil and went in my waterline. I really wanted some lashes, so I took Anastasia's false lashes. She just came out with a rad new line. So I got these um, from her and they are awesome. These are kind of like a softer version and they're beautiful. Finishing up with the gems. So I am now applying the center gem. It was a little bit bigger one, so I need to really wait for that adhesive to dry. The chin, and then I'm just gonna press everything just because I really wanna make sure it stays on. I am so oily. That is how oily I am. So yeah, we're gonna just make sure all those are stuck. And yay, I really love it. Now we are on to the body. Picking up a combo of your light blue and your medium blue, I'm kind of just going in a gradient scale, starting with some of that medium blue, which is basically just blue under the Meron palette, and then going in with some lighter blue, blending them as I get to the center, and going to be covering basically all the way down to my elbows. Using that ColourPop dark blue, I'm going to go in and carve out some of the structure in my bones. I feel like, you know, whenever you go over with one color, you kind of lose that dimension. So we're gonna add it back in, taking a firmer brush. I love these Moda brushes, by the way, they're great. And I'm gonna just contour a tad bit. I'm also going to add some highlight, which is going to be the same highlight I use for my lid and my face. a little glitter and then finishing up my lips with Jeffree Star's, um, I believe it's the Jawbreaker color. Super pretty, went really well with this look. Here we go, just finishing up with a few extra details, a little smokiness under the eye just to bring back some of that dimension that was washed out by the glitter. I am officially all done. I hope you really enjoyed it. I had a great time doing this look. As always, with every look that I do, it's on the spot and you never know what to expect. And with this one, I just had to trust the process. I hope that you guys learn that at the end of the day, all that matters is that you have a good time doing your art. And if you'd like to subscribe and like this video, that would mean the world to me. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at Lisa Marie underscore Murphy. All right, you guys, till the next time, I'll see you later.